Hi, my name is Jeremy Cook. Recently I was asked to attach a camera to a quadcopter, which among other things meant that I had to put several holes into several small rods. For this, instead of trying to set them all up by themselves, I made a fixture. Right here you can see it's cut, so it acts kind of like a spring when a vise is put on it. Usually you could just cut one end of it, but in this case, since the vise was going to be over the whole thing, I had to put three cuts in it. You can see kind of how it works right there, it's just about to be drilled. Um, I made a similar fixture in the past with a for a golf ball, and that kind of worked the same way. You know, you lined it up, put a hole in the middle, and you just had to do that once. So, you know, to start off with, I was cutting the um, cutting the rods into little pieces. These these are so I can attach a, a threaded rod to this on the end of a carbon fiber rod and kind of attach the camera onto it. Um, I cut that on a lathe, and the best way to do it would have been to use the tailstock and drill it that way, but. Mine wasn't lined up real well, so I decided to instead make a fixture for my milling machine. Uh, as you see, it was cut very roughly, so I'm, I'm squaring up two of the edges. Um, this will take just a little while. So then after that was done, what I did was I used a, a center drill to put a solid center on it, in it and then cut a hole just slightly bigger than uh, than the rods that I would be putting in there. They're the plugs, I guess I should say. Um, make some nice nice little, uh, I don't know, swirly things coming off it, but that's, uh, that's fine. After this, it was time to actually cut the uh, cut the sides in it so they could, could be easily compressed. So that's one side and then two on the other side. That way it would just act just like a spring and um, I could set it up on the edge of my vise and then you know, do as many, many cuts as I want. Ended up there were eight, eight plugs I needed to use and uh, this worked pretty well. So there I am setting it up, putting the plug in and kind of, kind of putting it in there trying to line it with the side. What I ended up doing was putting a piece of metal on the side and lining it up kind of like a kind of like a mill stop would work. So once that was kind of in and get testing it out I actually did it, uh, you know, for real. I put it in there and then put the, the stop on the side. And then after everything was lined up with the, the drill and stuff, I could make as many cuts as I wanted. Now on this I used, on the drill, I just kind of freehanded it. Um, you know, probably the better way to do it would be to use some sort of indicator um, or even get an edge in one side and then go in. But, you know, for my purposes, this was fine as long as it matched up fairly well. And there I am drilling it again. And you can see the results in just a second. So there it is. Let's drill it in. And at this point I needed to tap it. Now it was probably a mistake to take it off there. I could have just tapped it in in the fixture as it was. Um, but this, this worked okay. Only thing was it kind of deformed the sides a little bit, so I had to re-tap it. And that caused some, some issues when I actually put it in the carbon fiber rod, rod with the epoxy. But, you know, in the end it worked. Um, you can see there it's, you know, screwing into the, uh, the rod end. And it went into the epoxy, or it went into the carbon fiber okay. And eventually that was um, put in there and it was flexible, so it, the landing gear could come up or go down. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, or even leave a comment.